Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance Channel. I've got here tech stream for Toyota, so let's go together see how to use this. First what I will do, I will check that it's fully charged, which is down here, so this is good. Then I will disconnect it from the charger and I will connect my scanning cable and it's actually USB, it's right here. Computer recognized that so I'm ready to go scan the vehicle. I made it into the vehicle and I have to connect the cable. I know the OBD2 it's right here so I will hook it to the connector. That's perfect. The next step is to put the ignition on, but I'm not going to start it. Only put it in the on position. In upper left corner, I have the button connect to vehicle, so I will click on that. And the computer starts communicating with the vehicle. The tech stream automatically recognizes that this is 2014 Toyota Tacoma with the engine 2 TRFE and I just click the next down here and I'm finally in that main menu system selection menu in the yellow you can see the computer which I can choose to scan the blue are some function as a health check and so on. And I will definitely use and click on the health check because in this case the computer will scan all functions and all computer located in this vehicle. So I'm clicking health check and let's see what will happen. It is another screen with this kind of information and I'm going to click next and it tells me that it's reading the system and there will be eight computers scanned. This normally takes about 10-15 seconds depends how many computers are there and this is the next screen and all we have to do just click continue And here we go, this is the result of my scan. So on the top you can actually see the tire pressures. So this is awesome. And this is the health check result. These are the computers and functions which well scanned and as we can see and as we expected there are no codes stored in the history, they are not pending codes or there are no current codes. There is a list of possible calibrations and uh, this is basically the result of that scan. This is fantastic. And from here you can of course to go very many custom options but uh, for today uh, I will end up here and these customizing things I will uh, touch in different videos. So we will click here on the back because we don't need to print it. And we are in the screen and I will go back to the main menu to get out. The computer immediately asks me if I want to store it but I have no reason so I will say no. And this is what will happen after that. And I'm very back to the very first screen. I can switch off the ignition on the vehicle and I'm ready to disconnect the cable. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed this simple video about the use, basic use of the test stream. And please stay tuned because way more videos are coming very soon. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.